Oh, guys. Welcome to the MIB Master Museum. Guys, we're just doing some... Just a quick tour. Quick update on some... Oh, what's up, Solomon Grundy? What's up? King Arthur. This is the section right here. These guys have already had some TV time. So what we do what we're doing now is we'll be transferring these guys to the uh there's Sir Lance a lot. We'll be transferring these guys to the archives section of our museum. They've had TV time, so this entire section here and I don't know if you can see if we can get you all the way back in there. All the way back there. We had a request about uh, maybe doing just a tour and slowing that tour down a little bit as opposed to just panning around for like two or three minutes. So we're trying to slow this down for you. There's our Franken Aquaman. They had TV time. So we have a we have a system and of what we do. And believe me, it's not easy to move around. And this is our main collection room. And this top section and our bottom section, every figure has been through a review. And I, I'm sure we have over 170. 170 uh, reviews now. So we just want to get some. And these are all the guys that's been been through the reviews. And you can see all the way clear back. Everything has been done. These are a lot of our amigos that's already been through the um, review process and the video process all the way down to the end over there. Some more of our Aquaman. We have a shipment from Figures Toy Company coming in so we have to make some more room for these uh for the for the new figures which will take up this uh you know we'll we'll fill this uh these levels up here these shelves so this is the process that I have to go through on like a maybe a bi-monthly basis of moving these guys to the archives and guys the problem when you have so many action figures and when you keep them mint on card mint in box you have to find space you have to create space so our archives uh, which is not as glamorous and well lit <laughs> as our main collection room is the reason why we have so many. We have to we have to transfer them. So they, they it it really does a phenomenal job at storing all these guys. And then when I I tell you guys sometimes when I'm doing reviews that you know it's I can't believe I've, I've I haven't seen a particular figure in you know, seven or eight years. I know people say, man, are you, are you kidding me? Are you serious? You haven't seen that figure. It's yours. Right. But you know, when you have in excess to close to 700 figures between Amigos and the, the GI Joes, it's, it's somewhere we were, we were doing the math the other night and it's somewhere near closer to, um, closer to 800. 
between all, all the figures combined. And these are the figures that are waiting to be. Let me give you a. Oh, let's see if I can get on my knees here. I'm trying to keep the. These are all the figures here that still need to be reviewed. And this is our side B. This is not side A. This is side B. So these are the figures that still need to be reviewed. The ones up top. Has been reviewed. Has, has We've done videos on them. Well, I, I would say 90% of them. Because there's some here in the back. Further in the back that still need to be reviewed. Guys, uh, we did an estimate. No, no joke. We could go. We literally could go. A full year. Year and a half. Of doing reviews just on this just on the figures that we have on side side a <laughs> we literally could do a year and a half without exhausting our collection without that that's how big and massive our museum collection is and this is just in here this is not including the archives and when we get the archives where we want it at we don't have a lot of lighting in there because of the obvious reasons you can't have a ton of lighting uh, when you're trying to protect the boxes of some of these these figures because you don't want them to fade or anything so this is just a just want to give you guys a tour all this stuff has not been put on video yet. It has not been reviewed. None of this stuff. We had some stuff on the top. Like some stuff on the top has been reviewed. These things, right? These uh, Migos will be heading to the uh, archives. Because like I said, we have a new shipment from Figures Toy Company coming in. And uh, we have to make space. And guys, I, I know some people's like, oh, just keep, put them all. Can you just keep them all in here? It's just, it's... The, the our main collection room just wouldn't hold all of the um none of those guys over here has been we haven't done anything with these all these guys are still waiting to be reviewed but we just wouldn't have the space to put everything we're, we're getting so much stuff in and uh it's tough it's tough so everything here on the bottom as you can see, there's an empty shelf. Let me see if I can get down there for you. There's a there's some if, empty shelving down there because we were making space. We cleared some things out, and we have stuff coming from our archives over to be placed under those shelves. So it's a process. Uh, I just got off work. You know, so I try to put in maybe an hour or two in my collection room down here in the museum. And it's it's uh, usually if I'm not doing a video, I'm I'm moving stuff from our main collection room to the archives. And we have a ton of these. tubs I should say here and they all have they're loaded with stuff inside of them too and I told you in the archives we have here's our main staging area where we do all of the all of the reviews at we're trying to we're going to update this area so we're going to really updated but actually it, it works perfectly for what we need it to so behind this massive uh plastic right here background you know is more shelving with more more joes if you don't believe me here let me i'm gonna come around to the 
of the side here you can just clear down to the other end that's that's air this right behind this thing runs all the way behind it so anywhere we can store anywhere where we can store gi joe's we'll store gi joe's <laughs> We'll we'll find we'll find a way, and it's to the point now where we have to kind of put some things in place here. This uh, area right here, underneath, we have. I want to say this is the smaller one. We have two tables. Uh, this is the smaller table because it can fit into our our collection room. Uh, this table holds about eighty. 80 of our uh, carded G.I. Joe action figures, 12 inch action figures. And uh, I'm, I only can, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna lift it for a second. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna create a tidal wave or avalanche, I should say. As you can see, it's just, there's, there's tons of them. There's about 80 of them underneath there we have here we have gigantic tubs underneath that that supports about another 50 and none of those guys have been reviewed so we literally would not have to buy anything for a year and a half and we could just do reviews <laughs> for about a year and a half to close to two years on the stuff that we have if we wanted to but because i am such a collector and i am a a G.I. Joe and Mego addict, I can't help myself. So we keep placing orders um, to Cotswell Collectibles and to uh, Figures Toy Company, and we keep purchasing more and more and more figures. You guys seen these guys? They won't. They won't ever leave the. Uh, these are my my three Harley. Davidson G.I. Joe's you can see these guys on video we did a video and review on all three of these guys so you can definitely um, check those guys out on our channel but these guys will always stay in the main collection room my favorites here's the uh, my Humvee armament carrier we got it underneath the uh, protective covering I just don't like the dust to, to get on it so it's underneath underneath that it'll never leave it's uh we have a uh, a video and review on that as well um this is a, a a christmas gift from my wife from 2004 so it is it is one of my prized possessions out of all my gi joes it's my prized possession out of my gi joes so with the it's got the figure in it too let me see Lift it up there. There, it's got the figure in it. See, you guys saw this guy. He he's on review, so he's just taking it easy now. He did his TV time already. So we just I had a, a once again I just uh, one of our subscribers, uh, a really cool guy by the name of uh, Sean. Wanted to uh, Sean Henry wanted to um, basically uh, want me to do a tour. And and I said I couldn't get the tour for the um, for the archives yet, but I said what I could do is I can definitely do a more extensive tour of our main collection room, so so people can kind of just see and and just take it all in. Like I said, I did one way back, but it was very short. It wasn't long. I just I just kind of panned around the room real quick. I didn't stop to look or. You know, here's our Aquaman versus the Great White Shark. You guys saw this guy. Uh, he'll be he'll be staying in the main our main collection room for the time being, and then he'll be shipped to our um, our archives probably um, probably within the next month or so. When when I buy a figure and he's he's relatively new to our collection, I I tend to keep him or uh, keep it around for a while. You know, but, you know, you can't, 
you can't keep everything <laughs> that you like in the in in your main collection room or you, you you'll just be overloaded and that's that's the problem guys i was telling you it's different when you have when you when you're mint in box and mint on card and you're trying to keep it like this the boxes themselves absorb so much space you know that that's the problem with being an mib you know keeping everything mint in box it's tough because you you're actually trying to create new ways for space you know now we built these um these shelves by hand and there's one two three four five there's six shelves per length this is the uh side a has six shelves and side b has six shelves and we just and then you have you have chaos right here in the middle <laughs> right up down all the way down the avenue here you have chaos because we we we're trying to do reviews we're trying to um we just we did a review on this guy and look where he's sitting at now <laughs> so it's it's like you know i'll have a coffee break I do a review. He has to get picked up. Uh, my oldest son um, actually works here in the uh, in the uh, collection room. He does a lot of help uh, for me. He's a big help. He he, I, I can trust him for one. He's very very careful with the GI Joe. So he he moves things from you know, from the main collection room to the archives. And uh, he's a big help. So it, 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 it's a lot of work involved. Just a ton of work. Like I said, all this stuff right here hasn't, hasn't even been prepped and ready for review. You know, we got new shipments of stuff in. Everything on that side over there has just been shipped. We just got in a while ago. And it just, you know, you know, you're just looking for opportunity and time, like I said, to uh actually do the uh do the reviews and videos. It's just so much time. You know, it's just you you just have so much time to do these things, you know. I do work a full-time job too, guys. <laughs> My wife teased me and said, you know what, uh, you're like punching a time clock down there, you know, when you're working in your uh, your uh, collection room. I said, yeah, I should be punching a time clock the way, I put in, the way I put so many hours in here. None of this stuff has been ready for review. So side A really hasn't, we haven't done anything with side A yet. And like I said, uh, we're moving a lot of the these guys to the archives because they pretty much there's a few that'll probably stay back like my uh contaminated cow batman's um particularly this one will be staying in a in in our main collection room because he's one of my super favorite ones The uh, Frank and Aquaman, they'll be staying in the uh, main collection room. The, the ones that, that are really, really like, that I really like a lot. I mean, it's, it's, I, I can't, because once they go to the archives, it's, you, you know, I may, I may not see those guys again for another five or six years. So I'm very selective and careful and, and, and you know what we're putting in the archives because they're going essentially the archives is storage you know it's just gigantic big gigantic shelves that can hold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of of action figures so guys i just wanted to to do this real quick for you and uh i just wanted to show you what this is chaos this is what chaos looks like. 
right now. This is chaos. We got things bagged up, prepped, ready to be transported to the uh, the archives. This is pure chaos right now. This will, will require another pot of coffee for me. And I'll probably be back down here working again uh, to get things situated. So with that being said, guys, you know the drill. God bless. And keep collecting. And I don't care how many you get. More is better. Take care, guys.